Welcome back here. We've changed counties in our visit in Southeast Missouri, going from Perry County to Cape County. Now they're in Perry County, where we were with uh, the Zahner boys. Bob Zahner has some other cows out there as a part of the agriculture industry. Good agriculture region here, corn, soybeans, cow-calf operations. The gentleman we're gonna visit with has a little different uh, indirect tie to agriculture. And joining us here is Todd Rushing. We're in Pocahontas. Missouri at this time. You work with uh, the river system, uh, the transport of grains and fertilizers and other products on the Mississippi not far away, right Todd? That's correct. I'm the third generation and we've done work with towboat companies on the river for, for all that time. We talk about the rivers often because they're so crucial of course to the transport of commodities and the agriculture industry, but they've been important uh, to this region, haven't they? In a number of ways for a long time. Well, it's a, a very important way to get our, our goods to market and, and also it's a, a, a good source, the, the river industry is a good source of employment for this area as well. Apple Creek Presbyterian Church is where we are and uh, there's limited heat here, there's uh, no electricity. It really makes it one of the special churches on the Christmas uh, church tour here in Southeast Missouri, it seems to me. Tell me about this structure. Well, so this is actually the third structure that, that was built for Apple Creek. So in, in 1821, uh, Apple Creek Church was established. Um, the next year, the first structure was built, and that served for about 10 years, uh, in which case uh, the second structure was built. This particular church building was built in 1873, so this year it is 150 years old. And as you said, we don't have any uh, running water, no electricity, and, and uh, we've got the, the stoves in the back that provide the heat. So um, it's, a, it's a journey back in time. The lanterns are lit for that uh, Christmas tour service here. And well, you, you have lanterns that are lit another time of the year. There, there are services throughout the year here on a limited basis, correct, Todd? Correct, so there are three. We have at least three services a year along with the Christmas tour. So every April, we have what we call our Gaslight Hymn Sing, which is um, when we have, we have some bands come in and we sing hymns under the, under the gas lights in the dark. Um, we do that in April and then in May, the third Sunday in May, we have our annual church service. And that is a, uh, a regular church service where we have a speaker and, and hymns. And then <clears throat> following that service, we go outside and have a picnic on the grounds. And that's one of our more popular services and then our, our third service is in September, where we have once again have kind of a musical service where we have a band come in and play and we sing along with them. So three services a year to kind of keep the, the memory of the, of the old church alive. We're visiting here on a chilly, not a bitterly cold uh, December day and the, the stove back there is doing its thing. Yes, uh, and it, it can get really warm. The, the, the thermostat is a little bit hard to manage in here, so uh, we can get it really warm or sometimes not warm enough, but it's all, all based on the old stove in the back. Why are you involved as president of the board here? How did that come to pass? So my mother's, so my grandfather on my mom's side, his family went to church here, and many of them are buried in the cemetery out here. So again, it's a generational thing that, that uh, my grandfather, about 25 years ago, asked me to be on the board and, and uh, help maintain the history out here. So that's when I started and I've been the, been the president of the, of the board for about 15 years now. So you grew up right in the community here? Yes, I live in Jackson, which is just a couple miles down the road. Carolyn Thompson, we know, uh, plays the, the organ here and uh, we've asked her to do a little performing for us. There are only, I, I guess there's a piano and an organ and that's it, right? That's it, and uh, typically we use the organ, and, and Carolyn's always been gracious enough to play music at pretty much every service we've had, as long as I've been involved as well. Um, so she does a great job. It's an old pump organ. Uh, that's the, uh, that, church, that organ was actually purchased for this church um, many, many years ago. It was sold at one point when the, when the church kind of closed for, for regular services, and uh, uh, the family that bought it ended up donating it back. So it kind of went on its own little journey as well, but we, we have the old pump organ here and it, it still makes beautiful music. So it got away for a while. It got away for a while, yes sir. Anything interesting otherwise about this church or its congregation through the years that comes to mind, Todd, that our audience might find interesting? 
Well, I think the, the cemetery has a lot of history. I, when, when you talk to people in this area or even out of this area that, that have ties to this area, I'll say, um, it all kind of comes back to Apple Creek Cemetery. It's one of the largest old cemeteries in the area. We've got uh, four Revolutionary War soldiers buried there. Uh, there's, a, there's a section of the cemetery that is unmarked that was um, where they did kind of mass burials during the cholera epidemic. So that's kind of an interesting area. Um, we've got, I think, over 40 uh, Civil War soldiers buried out there. So there's a lot of history out there, and, and you will find people doing genealogy, they all say, well, we've got to go to Apple Creek, because that's where, that's where it all kind of began in this area. This is the third oldest Presbyterian church west of the Mississippi. Let's emphasize that. Repeat that phrase one more time. This is the third oldest Presbyterian church west of the Mississippi. You know, upkeeping of a facility like this uh, requires some effort, by all means, and, and the cemetery nearby. You must feel somewhat of a sense of mission uh, about your involvement here, Todd. Well, we do. Uh, the whole board is very much engaged in what we do here in, in maintaining this, the beautiful cemetery and the grounds and trying to maintain the church to make it look like it did originally and keep it like it was originally. And we want to maintain that heritage and, and you know, somehow, um, financially, we always seem to come out even. Um, the good Lord blesses us every year with, with enough to maintain, and, and we're just so thankful for that. Todd, thank you so much. We appreciate you sharing the story with us. Merry Christmas to you. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Todd Rushing at the Apple Creek Presbyterian Church, Pocahontas, Missouri. There's more coming up. Stay right with us.